Welcome to Quality Wednesday, the segment where I teach you how to improve the quality of your content in three minutes or less. Because let's be honest, you have the attention span of a Sagittarius. What's your zodiac sign? So guys, today we're going to be focusing on a viral TikTok trend that continues to be booming right now. If you guys can recreate this effect, I can promise for you photographers out there, it'll bring a different aspect to your photos and of course bring new people to your page. So. What we're gonna be focused on today is a different, different way to show something called the dolly zoom that you see very often. It was an effect created to simulate in movies the feeling of drowsiness, of of uh, being under some kind of substance, whether that be alcohol or narcotics. It creates a weird effect between the individual and his foreground. So basically it's like it's a very trippy effect you see very often. It's it's usually played on TikTok with that song. And you just see like a sequence of different photos and it just, it looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can make that exact same effect here on Premiere Pro in literally less than three minutes. All I ask is if you guys enjoy this video at the end of it, make sure to turn that post notification on down below, subscribe, and of course, like this video. Guys, so without further ado, we're gonna hop into Premiere Pro and we're gonna get this started. So right now in front, you guys should be seeing an import of a photo that I took a couple months ago with my girlfriend, Amy. Just a really good photo that I like. I think it's gonna be a best example to help show what this effect can do. So the good thing about this photo is that there's no, there's no gaps. As you can see, everything I can make sure that I'm drawing one consistent mask all the way around. I recommend just taking a photo with that. You know, it doesn't have to be that way, but it'll make the effect look more natural. So we're gonna go and we're gonna take this one photo and we're gonna duplicate it. So we're gonna press Alt, we're gonna drag it right above, nice and simple. So the next thing we're gonna go, we're gonna go to Opacity and we're gonna click the Free Drawn Bezier right over here. And we're gonna use it to make a mask around Amy right over here. So the one thing that I would recommend is going into Fit over here and increasing the size just so you can tell, you know, get a more accurate idea of where you want your mask to be around just so you're more precise. So we're just gonna make this really quick. Again, for the sake of this video, I will not be making it as precise just because we don't have that time. And again, like I said before, it's up to you as a creator as how detailed you wanna make this. And, uh, but I will say that the more detailed it is, the better it looks, of course. So we're gonna do this, make it really fast. So again, like I said before, it's not the best mask as you can see, but it'll do just to show an example. So now that we've we've done that, we can go and then just put it right back to our scale. So the important part now is that we want to create a different scale. So first of all, I recommend increasing the natural scale that whatever the photo is that you have is. For example, I'm gonna switch mine right off the bat to 120. So I want to create uh, like a dolly effect. So the thing I would recommend is turning on this clock right beside your scale because it will track your movement. So we're gonna turn it on right at the beginning over here. So we're gonna go over here and then we're gonna go right to the middle at some point over here and we're gonna increase it to let's say 140. Again, this is up to you guys. It's just as far as you guys kinda want it. So I'm gonna take this right here and I'm gonna drag it all the way to the end of the photo. So right now what you guys should be seeing is a nice little effect that goes like here to here. But as you notice, you can still see in the background the other image. So we're gonna go and we're gonna also map our scale to increase it over here. We're gonna go from 100, we're gonna do exactly what we did there, from 120 to exactly, let's go to the middle and then we're gonna increase it up to, to a little bit under 140. So, and then we're gonna take that and we're gonna drag it all the way to the end and then we're gonna play it. And as you guys can see, you see that really trippy effect. So, as you guys can see, there's some weird outlines I would recommend to get rid of that. You would go over here to Mask Feather and you would increase. But again, this will be removed the more precise your mask is. So the more time that you take around drawing around the edges, we'll just make sure that you ensure a better chance of having a more crisp photo. And guys, it's as simple as that. That's the simple way to make it nice and effective and it'll bring a different perspective to your photos. 
So guys, like I said before, if you find this video helpful, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn your post notifications on down below, and of course, like this video. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next Monday for vlogs, and of course, next Monday for another Quality Wednesday. Peace.